Hello, TV and movie fans. I am the movie guru, and today I am very much enlightened with light from the executive producer of The Beacon, Glenn Marza. Please help me welcome him to the show. How are you today? Hey, how are you? thanks for having me. Uh, so uh, Beacon 23 uh, is a new show coming out, and it stars Lena Headley, uh, who plays Aster from Game of Thrones, and Stephen James, who plays Halen from If Bill uh, Street Could Talk. Now, Beacon 23 is a drama, mystery, sci-fi, and psychological thriller, as well as a love story. And so um, the front, one thing I noticed is that, of course, it takes place in space. And the shots and the scenes of the of the of the space and the universe was so great. Uh, can you talk about how you and your team built the environment for a show like this? Well, that's a great question. So, so I joined the show after production had begun, right? So the show was created by Zach Penn, who who wrote um, Avengers and and Ready Player One, and um, you know, and I think the show was designed so so the show takes place in a lighthouse mm -hmm. on the edge of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. So it was very important to kind of get, make it feel like a cylinder, have that spiral staircase, mm -hmm. you know, going through through and and um, and they built this set that was took up a couple of different stages, wow. you know, because it was you obviously build yeah. it. So they built it in sections. And then as people are running, sometimes you cut to another set or something like that. And it, it's gorgeous. You know, the first. Yeah, there it is. The first time I, I walked through it, it was just like, wow, this is incredible. And it really just felt like. It felt a little claustrophobic, you know, it felt <laughs> like imagine being in a submarine. It felt yeah. like being on a space station, I guess. Obviously, I've never been on one, but, you know, and, and there was just a lot of the thought put into the lighting, the screens, how they lived, you know, where they would cook, all of that stuff that all makes sense. So um, they really created a world and paid a lot of attention to it and really, you know, put their money on screen. They did. And, and I think that's just because in a lighthouse, you do a lot of observing outwards. And that's really yes. what they did. Like if you watch season one and watch some of the episodes, they spend a lot of time just looking at the stars. And that's why I was saying like this universe that you guys built, it just it just is so you get that feeling of being so small, something so big and it's so vast. Yes. Uh, yes. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and so. Thank you. Uh, another question I want to ask is, you know, the plot and premise are definitely unique, uh, but was there any other shows uh, that might be similar to Beacon that uh, you might have got some inspiration from, like maybe like Farscape or Firefly or even, you know, the legendary Star Trek? Well, listen, I'm a, I'm a huge Star Trek fan, right? So I love Star Trek. But, you know, the thing that, that we were really... Um, careful about is that a lot of star wars star trek foundation and battlestar galactica a lot of these shows revolve around wars mm -hmm. right yep that's not this show the show is about you know people are living out there on the edge of the galaxy now there's stuff going on you know, it's there's there's people coming to see them there. You know, there's 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 um, there's, there's a, soldiers, a, a mercenaries. Yeah. yeah, there's stuff going on around them. Yes. And they're trying to get their piece that where they are, in, you know, in that story. But this is not about, you know, this is about two characters who are broken, mm -hmm. who are trying to figure each other out. They're trying to put themselves back together they 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 can't stand each other but they need each other to survive so it's a character drama so we were very careful to make it feel to to you know honor other shows obviously 2001 space odyssey was a big big influence um um, um the expanse was a big influence 
But we really wanted to make our own show. You know, we wanted to kind of say, okay, these are what other shows do. Now, how do we do our show? So this should feel more like, you know, a kitchen drama. This should feel more like people arguing around the kitchen table. That that <laughs> that's that's I think where, you know, the show it's it's about the characters, you know? Okay. Yeah. And so I think yeah. that's great. And I think that really shows. I mean, because the, the Lena and uh, you know, Stephen James did a great job of of just bringing their characters to life and the way they talk to each other, the dynamics. Right. Uh, I think that was really mm -hmm. good. Now, what. Um, great. Thank you. What, what episode do you think that people should look forward to uh, in season one? Or I guess I should say, what's your favorite, <laughs> oh. what's your favorite episode? That's what I should say. What's your favorite episode of season one? Uh, you, you know what? They're all so different that's the thing they're all so you know i spent a lot of time editing those episodes and plus they all have you know a lot of visual effects the music is done by the the composers of game of thrones they add a lot the sound so so that's like asking me you know you have yeah. eight kids which is your favorite <laughs> I, I i can't do that man i can't and how many <laughs> how many episodes can we expect this season eight 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 episodes. Okay, great, great. All right. Well, yeah, and 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 I th and I think they all drive to like a really cool ending where you know people are gonna see a story come together and they're gonna want more. So I, I really hope people you know go on the ride because it's it's a lot of fun. It was fun to make. Lot, there's a lot of buzz about it. People are highly anticipating it, so I think there will be, and I think they really will like it. Uh, well, it's been great talking to you, and so everyone out there. Uh, Beacon 23 premieres on November 12th on MGM Plus. Uh, definitely is a show to check out. Uh, thank you, Glenn. It's been a great talking to you, and we'll see you in the premiere you. of season one. Hey, it's okay. What happened? Your ship just crashed. You're on a beacon. It's a pretty sweet view to wake up to. Don't know where you were going, but if you need help getting back. This is where I was going, Beacon 23. What are you doing here? I just need access to any no. data. No. Something wrong? The Beacon Keeper is uncooperative and hostile. He's hiding something. There's something here, something valuable. Don't you think we should try and cooperate? There is no we, because I don't trust you. We don't have much of a choice now, do we? We could do this together as a team. What happened to your ship was an accident, was it? I think it's all connected. You were meant to come here. So was I.